Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode of Cycling Insider let's talk about the Scott Edict 10 in the disc version and this is the Scott Edict for the 2020 season. I wanted to go back again, back to basics, like I did with my previous video about the giant TCR, because I think it's important to see what bike manufacturers can offer to you for a decent amount of money. Uh, when we speak about this Scott Edict 10 disc bike for 2020, the asking price is 2300 British pounds or about 2800 US dollars. But as I always say, you should try to negotiate with your local Scott bike dealer and I believe you should be able to get something about 10 to 15% discount by just being nice and negotiating nicely. So let's say you could pick up this bike I'm hoping for about 2000 British pounds or about 2500 US dollars. So I mean make no mistake this is still not a cheap bike but I believe it's a kind of affordable level of the bike considering the equipment and uh, I mean, considering the specs that you get with this bike because you have probably noticed recently how all the new bikes that have been presented for the 2020 prices are just skyrocketing and sometimes it's it's kind of eligible and it makes sense but most of the time it is just going crazy so I wanted to go back to basics and see what you can get for about 2000 British pounds or about two and a half thousand US dollars. Uh, this uh, Scott Edict range, Scott Edict 10, it's the Scott's endurance uh, bike range so everything is designed for the long days in the saddle and to be comfortable. So don't expect the ultra light and super stiff frames because these ones are for the long days in the saddle. So let's kick off with the specification and see what you get for about 2000 uh, British pounds uh, or the asking price as I said is 2003. First thing first, uh, this bike comes with a really beautiful green paint. It's a dark green metallic paint and I think it just looks stunning in the combination with this uh, Schwalbe tires with the yellow edge on the tire. I think it's just a beautiful color combination and this time uh, Scott has done a good job with offering this um, paint scheme. It really looks stunning. Moving on to the specs, let's kick off with the frame and fork. So this time you get the Scott's um, Edict HMF carbon technology. So HMF uh, carbon fiber frames and forks are not top of the line what Scott does. They have an even higher level of carbon fiber, but don't worry, <coughs> Scott does their frames and forks uh, pretty awesome and uh, it's a high quality product. The only negative thing that I can mention here is that uh, the warranty on Scott's frames and forks as far as I know is still five years or maybe they have now decreased it to the six years but I wish uh, that they offered a lifetime warranty because Scott is a huge bike manufacturer and they should offer you a lifetime warranty especially on these uh, levels of the bike. So carbon fiber frame and fork, HMF carbon fiber, uh, fork is also with the carbon steer. Rear mech on the bike is the Shimano Ultegra uh, 22 speed or 11 speed whatever you want to call it um, and this is the mechanical Shimano Ultegra so the front mech and the shifters are also, also Shimano Ultegra uh, mechanical group set. Brakes are Shimano's BR8070 uh, so that's basically Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, 160 millimeter rotors both front and back which is a very nice touch and they have also included this uh, iStack technology rotors uh, SMT RT, SMRT 800 uh, center lock Shimano rotors so top-notch uh, hydraulic disc brakes and rotors crank set on the bike is the Shimano Zultegra R8000 uh, 5034 so you definitely won't have any problems with climbing uh, steep mountains because when I quickly look at the at the cassette, uh, cassette is the Shimano's R7000-1132 so that's uh, very very low gearing and no problems with climbing steep mountains. 
Uh, one thing that I am noticing quickly here, um, cassette is the Shimano's 105 range and also the chain is 11 speed Shimano HG601 chain and this is also the Shimano uh, 105 range. So we can say that they have cut a little bit the corners here including the chain and cassette which is the Shimano 105 range but make no mistake these are top-notch products and once when you destroy the chain and the cassette probably you'll destroy a cassette after about three chains then you can move if you want to something higher level like Shimano Ultegra. Well uh, Quickly, Handlebar Stem uh, is the Syncros production, so in-house production of Scott. Nothing special here, uh, aluminum handlebar stem. A seat post, again, Syncros in-house production, 27.2mm uh, seat post in diameter. Uh, they don't mention here, is it a carbon fiber seat post? I truly hope they would include a carbon fiber seat post because that's now a standard level of seat post in my opinion, especially when you are paying 2000 pounds for this bike. So this is something that uh, you can check with your local Scott bike dealer just to make sure. Seat again is the Syncros uh, production seat. Nothing special I can say here, if you don't like this seat post it's very easy to replace it with something that you truly love. Wheel set on the bike Again, Syncros production, so in-house Scott production. This is a disc ready wheel set, uh, aluminium wheel set. Uh, I don't know who does the hubs on this wheel set, but again, uh, no worries. Once when you trash this wheel set, if you want, you can upgrade to something better or even go back again to the Syncros wheel set. They have some good products. I would personally try to upgrade to something like DT Swiss uh, just because of their amazing hubs and the, and the quality of the build they offer. Tires, uh, Schwalbe uh, 1, uh, 30C tires, very nice. This is a, a cool uh, inclusion on the bike because you rarely see bike manufacturers including 30C tires and I just love it because you have a lot of air volume inside and it's definitely gonna make your ride very smooth. Approximate weight of this bike 8.25 kilograms. Uh, so I'm guessing this is a size 56 or 58. Definitely not uh, lightest of the bikes, but when you are going for an endurance bike You shouldn't be so worried about the lightness of the bike and just to give you a perspective Top-notch professional bikes are 6.8 kilograms. So this is uh, 8.25 kilograms So all in all, I think uh, <clears throat> Scott has done a very good uh, job with this uh, Scott Edict 10 disc bike Asking price 2,300 British pounds or about 2,800 US dollars I hope you can negotiate it for about 10 to 15 percent down. So we are speaking about 2,000 British pounds or about two and a half thousand US dollars. Main highlights include the carbon fiber frame and fork, so Scott's HMF range, not top of the line range. Uh, with the carbon fiber steerer on the fork, you got a full Shimano Ultegra mechanical group set. So the shifters, uh, front mech, rear mech, you got the the chain rings, um, uh, you got the uh, cassette and the chain, I have to mention is the Shimano 105 range and you also got the Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes, 160 mm rotors front and back. So all in all, a very good offering from Scott. If you are in a position to buy a bike for about 2000 British pounds, I definitely suggest you to have a look at this bike, do some road testing and then make your own uh, decision. Well, I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you are always informed when I make a new video. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Pura vida!